Hello Aces, Ace Comma Fan here and today we're gonna do a tutorial on how to play or how to emulate the Ace Combat 3, the Japanese edition but translated in English. I've got this question quite a few times and I thought why not make a video rather than just explaining individually to everyone how to get the game or what are the best settings to play the game. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna download a bunch of stuff actually. We're gonna download the EPSX E emulator for PlayStation 1 games and uh, you can go on their page and also by the way all the links are in the description of the video just go ahead to downloads and you can choose your platform be it Windows, Linux or Mac I'll, in this video I'm gonna be doing Windows of course as you can see so just go there and download Windows you just click here the other thing we're gonna need to download is the PlayStation 1 BIOS and I think you can download any of them but in this tutorial I'm just gonna download the American one so just click here and download that's it for the emulator the other things you're gonna need to download is the translation by Project Nemo there's also a fan translation huge thanks to them because they did an amazing job so you can go into their website and then download section you just click here next thing we're gonna need is the ECM tools for so you can patch the game, so you can just go to the link in the description, just go download link, you should take you to this section of the website and just download. As for the game itself, you should have the asymmetry files either ripped, if you have your copy of the game, or if you do have it but you don't have it ripped, you can download them, but if you don't have the actual physical copy of the game, I wouldn't recommend it as it's not legal. But given that I have the actual two copies, I have the international and the Japanese version, I can do that. So let's proceed. First I'm gonna show you guys how to install and how to put the best settings on your emulator. So we're gonna take the download folder we just downloaded. That's the P PSX folder. I'm just gonna create a new one. I'm gonna call it new PSX emulator. Basically all you need to do is just you can just drag everything in there. After these files are unzipped, the next thing you're gonna go into the BIOS and erase this file right here, delete. And you're gonna put the BIOS from the American PlayStation or whatever which one you chose and just drag it here. Now you should be able to play the PSX and just need to click here. And there you go, up and running. I already have it installed. So actually I'm gonna bring up on mine, which is already set up. So PSX, just click here. And we can go in configurations and video. That's this is what you should have for your settings. Uh, I'm just gonna put in window mode so when I show you the game, it's not gonna take all my screen. But this is what you should have. There's nothing here. I had some problems before when I just installed the emulator, but after putting these settings, everything worked fine. These settings are also found on the PSX website and also known as the best settings for the emulator so now we have that done we can click go on our controls so pad 1 I have an Xbox controller you can plug in the USB to the computer and works fine I'm not sure if you can do that for PS3 PS4 controllers if someone has please mention in the comments whether it works or not then for input we can just you can just click whatever button on the PS PS1 controller and I can just play touch it on my Xbox and it's gonna and it's gonna keep changing to whatever button I press. Of course if you don't have any controller you can also play on your keyboard and it's the same thing. You're just gonna and you're just gonna select here in the menu and press whatever key you have on your computer and that should work fine of course for your axis that might be a little bit complicated. But given that I have everything set up I'm just gonna come back and we can close this. That was the setting up the emulator and now we're gonna go to patch the game. Like I said, you should have your own ripped files if you do own the game. If you don't own the game, you should own the game in order to do this. So all you need to do is unzip the ripped files of the game. They're in the ECM format. And now we're gonna go to ECM tools and unzip the folder. After that, you can just put the two files of the game inside the folder and select each one of them and put on the UNECM and run it. 
It should take a little bit of time, but that's gonna convert the ECM file into a bin file, which is what we need to patch the game. Now that the first file has been completed, all we need to do is the same thing for the other one. Now we have our two bin files ready and I'm just gonna put them back on a desktop. And now we can proceed using the files that Project Nemo has provided, so I'm just gonna unzip them. And we can proceed and open here. We're gonna use the patching utility, so the Delta Patcher Light. And run it so we're gonna go to original file just select it and that's the actual file of the game so the one we just converted to bin file that's this one you can open and to the X Delta patch we're gonna go on the folder from the project Nemo select this one and then the patch file and open and all we need to do is apply patch so we made our first one we can now do the second one we can just Go back into the desktop, select the disk 2, I have disk 2, the bin file, and select the patch again from Project Nemo, disk 2, open and apply patch. So we have finished our second disk, I'm just going to close now everything as we are pretty much done. I'm just going to rename our file to a Spombat 3, disk 1. And then is on the three disc two. So now we can go on the emulator with PSX and go file, run ISO, and we can go to the desktop and select the Ace Combat 3 disc 1, hit open, and that should take us right to the game. And there you go, that's a Combat 3. Huge thanks to Project Nemo for translating, they did an amazing job in translating. One of the best Ace Combat in the series, if not the best, depends on your opinion. This was Ace Combat Fan, and give it a thumbs up to this video if you found it helpful. Enjoy the game, and I hope to see you in my next video.